He was pretty much a normal little kid, very quiet. He wanted to be held all the time, but didn't really respond or make any sounds. We thought for a long time he just had hearing issues, so we had him tested multiple times um, to find out that he wasn't deaf, that he just really wasn't responding. Um, brought him to daycares. He went through multiple daycares because they couldn't handle his needs. Um, initially it was just the not responding to commands or voices, not even acknowledging that you're there unless you were looking directly in his face and his eyes. Um, and then it escalated to self-harming behavior, where he was throwing himself on concrete, hardwood floors, hitting his head, trying to bash his head through a window at times. Um, and that's when we decided to get him diagnosed. And his, he was a little over two when he was diagnosed um, with autism. When he was about five is when he started having some speech. Mainly it was echolalia because he was repeating what he thought you wanted the response to be. And then um, this past year, he actually has some functional speech, um, but still cannot self-advocate for himself. Um, a lot of times he, you'll ask him a question, a yes or no question, and he'll say yes because that's the response he assumes you want. Um, and then we decide, decided this year, or this past year when he was in kindergarten to start the process of getting um, an autism service dog with um, ASDA of America. Uh, typically, on a day-to-day -day basis, we don't know how Jackson will react in any public situation. A lot of times he has sensory overload. Um, he has thrown himself on the floor, freaking out. He has um, said inappropriate language in stores very loudly, which all of those things when I talked to ASDA sounded like they could help with. And we're working with Community Benefit Tree um, to help raise funds because it is an expensive process to, obviously you have to have money for the animal first before you're on the wait list, um, which can take two to two and a half years. And then once they find a match, you have to, like, the parents will fly to Oregon, um, stay in a hotel for a week to train on the commands as well as legal um, laws with um, service animals. There are other ways to contribute. Um, you can go to the Community Benefit Tree website and click on Paw Patrols for Jackson um, and donate that way to online. Um, or you can mail a check into Community Benefit Tree as well and it's all on the website.